such a lovely morning, isn't it? Mm. It's great. <laughs> it's such a beautiful spot. It's my favorite time of the day, where the heat sets in. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it is a beautiful spot, isn't it? But, of course, the scene is not quite as dramatic as Colorado. No, but it's a different kind of peaceful. It's kind of pastoral. <laughs> I hate the mornings. Huh? Well, good morning, Elizabeth. What are you guys doing out here? Having breakfast. Come on and join us. Any coffee? Mm hmm right here. Mm. <sighs> Milk and sugar? Mm. So you guys always up at this ungodly hour? We are if we have to get to the hospital early. What are you going there for? I work in the pediatrics department as a volunteer. Mm. Grandma and I drive in together. <laughs> Cozy. So what am I supposed to do all day? I can't make any promises, Lizzie, but if you want to join the program, I could speak to our peer counselor about you. Or not. I just thought you might like it if you're free all summer, but... Kids are really great. Well, it's a, it's a wonderful program, but I'm not sure it's the right spot for Elizabeth. Thank you, Graham. At least somebody understands. Babysitting's about on a par with taking care of the Johnson's dog. Well, we're not babysitters. Actually, it's the volunteer part that's problematic. You see, when I spoke with your parents this morning in Bosnia, they were adamant about your getting a paying summer job. Your parents have a few conditions that you need to meet before they'll consent to your staying on here. Well, let me guess. I have to be home before dark, in bed at a decent hour, like I'd love to see an indecent hour, help you run the house and not spend more than four hours a day on the phone, or Mom will come home from Bosnia and threaten to slap me in a boarding school like she did before. Well, the phone wasn't mentioned, but the rest is generally accurate. But it really all comes under the heading of earning back their trust. And they want you to start doing that by writing a letter of apology to the Johnsons for upsetting them when they were so generous. <sighs> And they want you to earn back the money you blew on that first-class airfare. How? What kind of job can I get that'll pay that much money? Well, you don't have to earn it all in one week. Oh, thanks. That is so comforting. They hate me. They don't hate you. Your parents love you very much. And they're very aware that the suddenness of their departure was hard on you. <laughs> sure they are. Come on, Lizzie. Look, just, just lighten up, okay? I'm sure that there are fun-paying jobs around. PC's a really great place. Yeah, well, who says I'm staying? It's really great here with Graham. Just give it a chance. Listen, Graham, nothing against you, but I am not Sarah, thank God, no matter how much you all want me to be. I don't want you to be anybody but who you are. <clears throat> I'm gonna get ready for work, Graham. Excuse me. I know you're upset, but you really mustn't take it out on your sister. She loves you. And I know you love her, just as I loved my sister, even when we fought. Aunt Lucille, I heard all about her last night. Not quite all about her. You were a little too tired to listen. But my point is this. A little sibling rivalry, even jealousy, is normal. I am not jealous of my sister, please. Well, I really do have to get to work. Um, why don't you just stay home today and chill? I mean, stay around the house, relax, uh, unpack, help yourself to anything you'd like in the kitchen. I mean, there's plenty of time tomorrow to start looking for a job. And if you'd like, this evening we can show you a little of the town. You know, Sarah's having a good time here, and I'm sure you will, too. In your own way. Hmm? All right. Yeah, hi, I would like to order a pizza. Oh, I knew you were going to ask me that. Um, what do I want? God, I don't know. You know what? Just send a large pie with everything on it. Uh-huh. 
Yeah. You know what? Send a large pizza with just pepperoni. Yeah. Wait. Oh, God, this doesn't just kill me. Hold on. Um, you know, just some both of them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, the address? It's um four five three Maple Avenue. Oh, and my grandmother said that I can charge it to her credit card, Mrs. Audrey Hardy, at this address. Um, yeah, that's a. Uh, Two one seven eight zero five three four five six two one eight nine seven four. Oh, uh, zero one ninety nine. Mm -hmm. Okay, thanks. Oh, hello. Oh yeah, could you send a case of diet soda with that? And maybe you could hurry it up. I'm really hungry. Thanks. Mm. So that means I sent ya Focus to the rap inventor Nigga with the game type this That's lame right Spell my name right B-I-Double-G-I-E Iced out, lights out Me and Caesar Leo Always, always Back, back I did. But when a neighbor calls me at the hospital to tell me that they're about to call the police because of my house guest, I make it a point to come home. Oh, well, I thought everybody had to go to work. I didn't know there were still people hanging around their houses during the day. Don't they have anything to do? Mm. Oh, smoking, too. Well, I see we have to get a few things straightened out around here. This behavior is unacceptable, totally unacceptable. There it comes. Now, don't you be fresh with me. I treat you with respect, and I expect to be treated exactly the same way in return. This morning, I told you that your mother and father brought up the issue of trust and how you had to earn theirs. Well, you're going to have to earn mine as well. I know you're upset, but this is no way to handle your feelings, and it will not get you what you want. How do you know what I want? You don't know me. And even though you're making all the right noises, don't think I can't pick up on how you really feel. Which is? You don't want me here. You and my sister. The two of you were so cozy, just sipping tea and going to work together to do good deeds. And along comes Lizzie the Terrible to spoil it all. You hate me. I don't hate you. Well, you should. Because I hate you, and I hate my sister, and I hate my parents. I hate everybody, okay? So why don't you just go call Bosnia and tell my parents how impossible I am? Is that what you really want? I don't care. And you know what? Neither do they. They just want me to be like Saint Sarah and not give anybody any problems. <sighs> Elizabeth, if you could be any place, where would you want to be? You know, I don't know. Maybe just someplace that was wanted for a change. 